Right, how you going folks? Um, we've just got a deer here that we've just shot and uh, I'm just going to show you how to take the uh, back legs uh, or take the legs and the back stakes out. Um, just before I do, just going to quickly show you a wee tip of deer that you might be able to use. So my knife, it's got a bit of a elastic -y type stuff with a little clip on it. So I just get it, clip it onto the side of my pants and if I'm working away, take whatever I need to do and drop it, can't lose it. So if you don't, that way you don't have to put your knife down and potentially lose it. Anyway, we're going to get into this deer. So another little good tip is through the uh, tendon here, just make a bit of an incision like that. And that way you can put your hand through there and uh, it makes for a good grip. Anyway, let's get into this. So this is what I always do when I'm in the field. This is exactly the same way I do my um, animals every time. So cutting down just beside the puzzle. Uh, and you'll eventually hit the pelvis bone, which is just in there. And all you're doing, just using the first little part of your knife, and running it down the bone. There's the knuckle. All you're doing is following the bone. That's that's basically as, as simple as it gets. And you might notice, that's all I'm using. Now, the pelvis bone is, does a bit of a curl back up through this way. So all I'm going to do is put the knife down until I hit it and run my knife up that bone. Oh, we sprung a, sprung a bit of a leak. I tend to do that sometimes. that's it leg off if you don't follow that um, pelvis bone and you just cut straight down all you've done well, is left that big piece of meat still attached which is that there which is actually your rump stakes so it's actually that piece there so if you cut straight down from the knuckle and straight across that would still be attached to here so you very carefully follow it down like that with your knife and you see how it's come off really simple 